If you're playing Arena Breakout Infinite, you know that starting the game takes a while. You can actually chop that time way down by skipping the intro. This is how to do it. So, obviously there isn't an option in-game where we can skip the intro, however, we can change the game files so the intro's not there anymore. First of all, let's see how long the game takes to start up with the intro included. Launching the game. Now you're told to skip it, so I'll hold spacebar, and there we go. Now we're actually loading into the game itself. There we go, we're finally on the menu. Let's see how much we can speed this up. So, in order to skip the intro for Arena Breakout Infinite, you'll need to navigate to where the game is installed. So, locate it in Steam, right-click, choose Manage, and then browse local files. Then, inside of here, we'll head into AB Infinite, followed by Content and Movies. CG.MP4 is the intro video, which you can see over here. This is the one that we need to hold space in order to skip. All you need to do is rename this file and just like that, changing the name, the game will no longer be able to find it and will get in game pretty much straight away. Now, there are a few other things in here that you can mess around with, such as Operation Result, for example, which plays when you extract. You can replace this with any other video that you want, and the same is true for pretty much anything here. The last thing I'd probably replace is this warning, so we'll rename this, and just like that, the game should start up pretty much instantly. So, let's go ahead and play it and see how long this one takes to open. So, launch, and let's see how quick this one is. And there we go, just like that, no video editing magic or anything, we are loading into the menu pretty much instantly. No welcome screen, no video at the very beginning, you click play and bam, you're on the main menu as soon as that loads up. So, as long as you haven't deleted those files, you can always rename them back if you'd like to re-add this. And of course, on top of that, whenever you update the game, these files will probably be replaced. So, just keep in mind that you'll need to reopen that folder and delete the files, or at least rename them once more in the future when it eventually gets added back. Anyways, hopefully the devs add a real option to skip the intro, but this works pretty much perfectly for now. Hopefully this video helped you. Thank you for watching, and of course, thank you to Superior Emerald for being my first ultimate supporter. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.